hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Cattle and Crops, the farming experience. <laughs> so, anyways, I thought we would uh, hop in here because they've actually added a map now. We have Albergut, Albergtal, Albergtal, okay, and the old CNC tech demo. So, we are going to be going on the map. Let's load that up and see what happens. 49 fields. Total field area, 2,965.26 acres. Wow. All right, let's load the map, see what happens, shall we? Now, unfortunately, my record uh, numbers don't co up, so I have no idea for time or FPS, which it usually shows. But I did check to see if it was recording, and at least, well, when I did check, it was working. So, here we are. New vision available. Welcome. Okay, it's not that. Is it control? No. Tab? No. Okay. <laughs> how? They've changed that. So, how do I get... Use is E, yeah. Ah, here we are. Ah, okay. We need this. So, uh, new mission available. Okay. Okay, we have... Ooh, wow, look at all the gear we've got available. Nice. Alrighty, let's uh, start creating mission content. La 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 la. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Okay, welcome. Alright, it smells, but we need it. Alright, well. Okay. So, apparently. Okay, it smells, but we need it. So let's start this. Ah, uh, yeah, see different stuff now. Creating mission content. Okay, here we go. Enter the Aryan 530. There's a kitty meowing around here somewhere. No, not Dexter. Not Dixie. A game kitty. Hmm. Alrighty, so somewhere over here should be a tractor. There's the kitty. Hi, sweetie. You don't eat things. Oh, good lord. Okay, I believe F. No. Alright, why has this changed as well? Wow. <laughs> Would have been nice if they'd have left some of the controls in place, you know? Jump, blah, blah, blah. Use secondary. Next vehicle? No. Uh, current vehicle? Implement? Handbrakes? Hmm. Um, never mind the lights. Open vehicle menu. <sighs> well, really? You don't have anything to actually enter a vehicle? Vehicle. Uh-huh. General. Next vehicle. Okay, well. Okay, well, that's good enough. It got me in this one. So, uh, what else have we got here? Because I want to have a look over here. I want to set these up. Uh, that's four-wheel drive. I do want that one. So, let's grab you and put you into slot one. What else have we got? 
Wipers, yeah, considering it's raining. Let's put you into slot 9. What else have we got here? Windows, I'm not concerned. Uh, raise and lower that, not really. Steering console height, how are we doing with that? That's all fine. Toe pin attacher up and down. Soft top, no, I don't think. Okay, I think that'll do for now. Start the engine. And they want us to drive to the sewage treatment plant. Now, do we have a weight kicking around here by any chance? It doesn't look like it, eh? Okay. Oh, I love the way these things run, man. It's just so different from the, uh, whoops, let's look out the front. So different from the uh, farm sim experience, you know? Now, I am using mouse and keyboard. Um, it doesn't make for the smoothest of uh, experiences, but I don't have... Uh, don't have a wheel. I'm just going to, whoops, quickly. <laughs> you don't actually come to a stop, you know. I'm just going to try my controller. No. Ah. Okay, well, that's good to know. I probably just need to set that up, actually. So, now, I believe cruise is T. Hmm, but it doesn't cruise at full speed, does it? Oh, there we go. And yield to traffic looks good. No, it's definitely not full speed on cruise. I believe there is another, like a toggle full speed thing. So I gotta say, you know, the map's a fair size. And looks really good. Looks really good. I think the tree textures are a little nicer. A little more varied, anyway. Um, grass texture about the same. Now, there is deformation on the fields. Like, when you drive over it, it's not leaving a decal on top of the field of your tire tracks. It does actually sink in. Like, I have a lot of hope for this, you know. It still needs to go a long way, but the amount of distance it has come since I first started trying the demos, boy, oh boy, you know, is, uh, you can certainly tell that the effort is being made, you know, and good on MBB. I, I, I think they're making a, quite an effort, you know. And we'll have to see where it goes from here. I hope they don't end up losing any more uh, sponsorships. Okay, so they would like us to now drive to the sewage plant. Okay, I think we're there. Alrighty, attach the staple VT1800. Okay, I can do that. You could tell these guys were farm sim modders, eh? All of the uh, key commands are basically the same for, you know, the, the actual functioning stuff. You know, like Q attaches, and V lowers, and B turns things on. And so yeah, really nice that those of us that are used to farm sim can... Uh... Alright, now they want us to click the add-on. slurry at the sewage plant. Okie dokie. Now, okay. I'm actually going to go out this way and come back in that other gate. Because if you go around that way in the tension, it kind of goes under the trailer and out the other side, the hose. 
just looks really awkward. So I think if we come in this way, I think this is the way this place is designed to be entered. And then wheel ourselves into place. Now I do believe right now this sort of all auto does its thing. Okay, now we can select the fill type and we'll have slurry and start. There we go. And it fills it up and charges us money, but <laughs> look how little money it charges. Not bad. We're going to get 18,000 liters of slurry for... Ooh, looks like about 60 bucks. Am I close? Two, three, four... Ooh. Going up. Oh, there we go. I guess they think we have enough. Drive to field three. Oh, $58. <laughs> well, that was pretty close gas. All right. Oh, yeah. And right away you can feel the difference, eh? Right away. Watch for traffic. Oops. Ah, almost went the wrong way. <laughs> Come on, baby. You can do it. Let's go, go, go. Yeah, I think next time I'll set this up for a controller. See how that goes. Just to make the steering a little smoother, you know. I think the road textures are actually a little nicer. Like, I like the way that they have blended considerably more of, like, the dirt in off the edges in various places and things like that. It doesn't look quite as tagged in. I mean, I do notice, like, the LOD is a little bit... Hmm, a little bit poppy, you know? But that's all right. That's all right. Ah, there's the field. Excellent. Okay, let's open her up, and oddly enough, X, you know, whoop. And see, we roll backwards, I'm gonna put the brake on here, actually. Okay. Oh, that's odd, it actually lowered itself. Oh no, there we go, okay. And then, as usual, turning it on is simply key B. Now, I'm going to use the cruise control. There we go. Otherwise, we're going to find we'll probably have a little bit of issue. There we go. And I think I'm also going to click key 1 here. There we are. Now we're in four-wheel drive. There we go. Yeah, not getting much slip. And as you can see, they are actual deformation. We are leaving trails in the ground, not just a little decal on the top. Oops, sorry. There you go. You can actually see that. Hmm. Kind of an odd pattern for the uh, what it's leaving for our actual slurry, but that's okay. The other thing it does is it will actually uh, cut the thing off by itself when you hit the end of the field. So that's kind of cool. Or, I mean, you can manually turn it off and turn it on. And where you overlap, it'll actually leave little puddles of slurry. So you don't want to do too much, uh, 
too much overlapping. Now, it would be nice to have GPS going. Um, the tractors are certainly equipped with it. It just hasn't been implemented yet. You know, just to keep these rows a, a little bit smoother for those of us <clears throat> like myself who are really not uh, terribly good at driving in a straight line or corners or, you know, but yeah. <laughs> Especially if you wanted to use an in-cockpit view, then obviously it would be much nicer if you had uh, some sort of a way to keep things aligned. And we'll turn it off just because we can. And back on. I don't know if they're going to make us finish the entire field, but I can assure you of this. We do not have enough slurry on board to do this entire field. It is a pretty big field, as you can see, because the zoom out is quite something in this game. Look at that. <laughs> it's like I did a toy. Ooh, too much overlap. See the deep puddles we were getting? The, uh, the feel of these vehicles is so different from farm said. You know, the sounds are really nice too, by the way. I don't know how much of it you guys can actually hear. I do have to keep it somewhat limited. Because I find the difference between it completely, uh, basically drowning me out and uh, not being able to hear it, it's a pretty fine line. <laughs> Oddly enough. Oddly enough. But yeah, I guess this is the first mission. I think there's like 17 missions or something on this map so far. Or 11. I don't remember. One of the two. It's either 11 or 17. From my understanding. Which may be way off base. Who the heck knows, right? Who the heck knows? Has a very accurate countdown on the slurry. That's very nice. And I love the heads up. What a cool thing. It's even recording the hours of use, etc. See, as soon as I'm off the field, you notice the numbers stop. I haven't pressed B. No. As soon as the thing hits the field again, watch. Bang, the numbers start rolling. So that's kind of neat. I mean, it's a little more automation, I think, than is required. At least in my opinion, because at this point, let's face it, I'm pretty sh pretty used to actually setting the thing at each end of a field, right? I mean, those of us that are long-time farm sim players, obviously, we're used to set turning it off, turning it on, turning it off, turning it on, all that happy joy joy. So I have 74,000 euros, do I? Wow. According to my actual save info, I had 501,000, I believe. So, but that is something that we had kind of a, an issue with in a lot of the earlier builds was every time you'd come into a new game or if it was a patch or anything like that it just you know it would either not have the vehicles you'd paid for but you'd already paid for them you know <laughs> or just weird things like that it was kind of hard to keep up with at one point but really really happy to be back playing it it's you know I, I was thinking about it the other day and I think one of the reasons that I'm you know jump on things like professional farmer American dream even with almost no hope of it being even a half decent game which turned out all hope was lost from the beginning as usual um, but even in that state um, it's not because I'm looking for something to compete with farm sim you know, it's, I think, because after doing so many episodes of Farm Sim for, what, like three years now, I've been doing Farm Sim videos. Um, 
I don't know that I'm looking at it for a competition so much as I am for something that's absolutely different. Now, Farmer's Dynasty, I really like it. It's good, and it meets that requirement. It is something different. You know, it, there's this sort of thing goes on, sure enough. You know, you are going to tend fields. It is a farming thing at heart. You know, problem is, though, it's, let's face it, it's a little bit glitchy. Um, I mean, it's playable. So far, I haven't run into actual game-breaking bugs, but it's glitchy. You know, there's just weird things go on. You, well, you have textures that go a little bit wonky and, you know, those sort of things. Nothing that, like I said, is going to make you go, oh, God, I give up. I can't. It's unplayable. At least for me. I know for some people, unfortunately, that has been the case. But this is certainly playable. And any of you that have actually... Uh, you know, did back it on the Kickstarter and just haven't tried it in a while because it wasn't terribly playable a few patches ago, you really might want to give it a chance. Um, if you like farm sim because of this sort of thing, you know, you like the field work, I think you'll like this even better. So, yeah, just, just as a thing, you know just as a thing and I'm way over again I'm gonna have big puddles of just cow pee all over my fields the kind of things the little birdies are gonna drown in <laughs> but hey at least I've got beautiful straight even rows <laughs> yeah yeah they're gonna think I'm driving drunk or something here good heavens But yeah, as you can see, we're not going to have enough. And in fact, we're not actually going to have enough for this thing to be satisfied. Like with the, the end of the job, I think they've purposely done that. So that you will become used to the fact that, uh, you know, unless you have overload equipment or something that you can drag out here at a later point, you're going to be pretty much stuck with this. So... I read in one set of comments, I don't even remember if it was the Steam Forum or the Cattle and Crops, but someone was going, you know, we'd really like to see a game that gets a John Deere license. You know, I mean, not that there isn't lots of John Deere game in the Farm Sim series, may not be there legally, but it's there. Um, you know, that would be so cool if there was actually a farming game that had all John Deere equipment. Well, John Deere did release a farming game at one point, a long time ago. Um, and I actually had it. I don't think it works on modern platforms. So you can still find it around rather obscure places. But they did actually make a farming game. It wasn't... Uh, I don't know. It, it, it wasn't good. What? Disable the implement. Why? Just let me get to the end of the field. There we go. Raise the implement. Okay. Collapse the implement. Okay, oops, we're rolling again. So we better come to a grip here. And they want us to drive back to the sewage plant. Although we do actually have a little bit left. <laughs> okay. And I think we can come out of four-wheel drive now. You know, it's immediately the RPMs and the speed go up considerably. So, there is a limiter on the four-wheel drive, so you probably don't want to be running it unless you're in a field. But I figured with this amount of weight behind us, and it really did help. Like, whereas we're picking up considerable speed here in two-wheel drive on the field, I picked up speed when I put it into four-wheel drive. Exactly as should have happened, right? Because we wouldn't have had the slippage that would have all been converted straight to traction. So, But it looks like we're not done fertilizing field three, so they do expect us to go in there, grab some, and go back. But that's okay. We've only been fertilizing for, well, the mission's only been running for 22 minutes. So I think we are ahead of the game at this point.
Well, we'll just hope nobody's coming. <laughs> and yield to nothing and no man. It's not very far, give it that. It's really unfortunate. Well, no, it does say it is a foggy day. So, I was going to say it's kind of unfortunate there's so much fog we can't really see any distance. But it does say right there in the weather thing at the top that it is, in fact, a foggy day. So, there we go. Now, as I said, there is, um, in fact, you know, if we look, oh, it did it again, didn't it? No, it did go to this one this time. You see, there are things like this. Um, how do I go to first person? No, that's not it. Uh, <laughs> okay. You see, open, close, seal. Unfasten hose. Right. So, these things are designed that they will eventually do that, right? No, they don't seem to actually do much at the moment. <laughs> right? I mean, they operate, but they don't actually disconnect the hose. But this will be the procedure, right? You'll connect your hose and then open your flow. So, we should probably get on with this, though. This is a timed mission. So, uh, and excellent. Okay. And how are we doing here? Oh, would probably help if we actually uh, <laughs> did this. Oh, okay. Apparently it did while I was, I don't know, looking somewhere else maybe. So. Back to field three, where we shall complete our mission. Alrighty. Aha. And we're off. So I guess we could at this point actually uh, complete the mission. <laughs> I hope that car has got good brakes. <laughs> like, there's that darn farmer again, dang it. What are we going to do with that boy? There we go. And yes, you can see the puddles on the field. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, now they want us to continue. So let's uh Open the implement. And the little pieces at the back. There we go. Open her up. Flip her over. And. There we go. Lower it down. Whoop. Let's shift back to four wheel drive. And cruise control. And she has a little trouble getting started, eh? Hmm.
Okay. And continue on, we do. No, I'm just curious here. Let's put the brake on. And... I'm just trying to see where it might actually indicate that the four-wheel drive is on or off. Um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. <laughs> I thought that was actually for the device. Hmm. So yeah, I don't see a, an actual indicator of whether or not four-wheel drive is on or off. That's kind of sucks. I think it was off before, because this is much smoother. Hmm, hard to tell. I said it would be nice to have a clearer indicator, but that's all right. See, I would think, because it looks like there is actually on the uh, little heads-up ga gauge there, a symbol for four-wheel drive. But it doesn't seem to uh, light up either way. So, I mean, I suppose there's always a possibility that this thing doesn't actually have four-wheel drive. Maybe that's just locking a diff or something. But yeah, it's certainly not showing it. Hmm. Okay, I guess 1.0 means it's on. Oops. <laughs> A little too much overlap. Ah, okay, we are now apparently done. So. Let's, uh, shut that off, raise it up, fold it up, there we go. And, well, I guess it, oh, whoa, 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 traffic. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks, dude. You could tell I was completely out of control, could you? <laughs> you must watch my channel. All right. Now, I'm assuming to actually properly complete the mission, you do have to drive back. So let's do that, because that's what it's telling us to do, as opposed to uh, telling us to actually complete the mission. That's been flashing since we were halfway through the field. So... But yeah, I gotta say, I do like this. Ooh, <laughs> almost knocked the municipality signs over again. I'm good at that. <laughs> mm -hmm, I'm definitely gonna get my controller enabled for next time around.
Okay. And I do believe that with that, we are finished. So, complete mission. There would be only one task. Oh, 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 never mind. I'm sorry. It says you need to detach that. I didn't notice it changed. My apologies. Q. There we go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. Mission complete. Okay. So there we are, guys. And I think we will uh, we'll continue with the next mission next time around. So awesome. What's this? Oh, okay. new mission available and we will check that new mission out next time around so really hope everybody enjoyed that if you did well you know what to do please hit the like button for me on the way out and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't in the meantime well leave lots of comments and we'll see you all next time take care of each other folks ciao